What is going on you guys? My name is I'm Fine. Welcome back to another video. Thanks for checking this out. Now today you guys I have something that's kind of special as far as videos go and that is me on the craft course server, the new craft course server that I'm making I guess. And uh, I wanted to show you guys a little bit of the server piece by piece I guess so the day it launches you guys kind of know more or less about it. And uh, today is actually a pretty special one because I'm actually showing off one of the dungeons. Now it's not 100% complete but it's complete to the point where it'll actually work and stuff. And I think um, the way I want to do it with these uh, with these um, with the dungeons and stuff, you guys, is I want to I think have them out in the world without any um, coordinates to them. So basically, you have to go and find them. And then, like the day you find them, I will make like some kind of um, teleporter that'll take you there more instantly once people start doing them and actually completing them and stuff. I think I'll be able to like give them coordinates to everybody so you could you know get in get into the dungeon and stuff faster uh, but anyways I want to go and check it out you guys obviously I'm not gonna show all of it though so we're gonna go ahead and go and check it out right now because I think it should be pretty fun of an experience for you guys and I think it'll be pretty cool for me too and as the Sun goes down we're about to do this anyways uh, the this uh, dungeons called the mind Kings domain and um, the difficulty says medium but I think I want to change that to maybe putting no difficulty so you just kind of have to figure it out or maybe maybe not I'm not 100% sure like I said, a lot of this is just a work in progress. Uh, but anyways, uh, when you do a dungeon, you guys, it always gives you re uh, rewards. Um, so the way I have it is the dungeons will drop you uh, money, diamonds, and XP. And now it's actually dropping a fourth thing. It's actually dropping um, uh, loot crate keys. So now when you finish a dungeon, um, it'll drop to your whole team. It'll give everyone the $25,000, at least for this dungeon, 10 diamonds, 15 XP and it'll give you um, a in this case a one uncommon uh, loot loot crate key so uh, yeah let's go ahead and check it out so I'm probably gonna skip um, the the main rooms or the dungeon rooms or whatever and I'm gonna go straight into the um, oh god the bro, what was I gonna say I'm gonna go straight uh, straight into the boss room that's what I was gonna say okay so let's go down there and let's go check it out you guys so uh, yeah, let's go do this. So this is the entrance right here. I know this looks kind of crappy right now I want to fix up these walls and stuff like I, I started decorating, but I thought you know awesome way to record All right, so as you, can, you guys can see we got four different rooms that you can go into so it says get to the top uh, Find your way through the maze. Um, there is also a boss room a mini boss and the switch room so these are all kind of standard to some of the dun dungeons that I do but once you complete all four it'll basically unlock this thing right here and uh, really what's here you guys is there's barriers so even if you try to jump across you can't the only way you could basically get through is by doing the all the things first so it's kind of foolproof you can't literally end the ball across and press the button then go into the boss room uh, but you can um, do all the all the all the rooms and stuff and it'll it'll unlock the doors and once you're actually done with the dungeon you guys I want to kind of emphasize is once you do it it resets completely so all of the stuff resets uh, you have to go and do all the all the stuff again and then uh, the this little wall right here it'll close off again so you really can't go through it all um, you really have to do everything again which is I think pretty cool because you know if you want to kind of fight over again and do it all over or whatever It'd be uh, pretty cool to just do it, you know? So yeah, all right. So let's get right into it, you guys. Let me go straight into the dungeon room. So I have the um, uh, this thing set up to where I can just walk into it. So let's go ahead and let's just go over there and just fly across, actually. All right, so what happens, you guys, is you come in here, right? And then this door closes, you can no longer leave. And then you have your, your, your weapons or whatever, right, to fight this thing. So once you come here, the boss will come out. And I'm actually doing this in a uh, creative should I do this and not creative? I don't know, because I might not make it. Let's see. Uh, let's let's just see how much damage he gives us. Stash game mode zero. Because he's kind of oh he's not that fast. That's right. I slowed him down just a tad bit. Okay, so this shouldn't be too hard. But he has knockback. He has pretty strong gear too. Ah no ah no. Okay, a fail. All right, cool. So he's not too tough. I'm gonna probably speed him up, which is cool. Because I get to test out all this stuff to you guys, which is perfect for the, for for video reasons. You know what I mean? Like ah, this dude is, takes a lot of hits too. I never I forgot about that. Jesus, look at this. He's not even taking any heart damage. Crap. 
<laughs> oh my god. Alright, well, maybe I should keep him slow because uh, baby, baby zombies are kind of hard to hit. Ah, as it is. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. And uh, yeah, obviously this gets easier with time because you're going to start getting stronger and stronger gear as you go along. Um, but yeah, you know, like for the beginning, I'm pretty sure it's going to be just as hard for everyone trying to figure out the, the dungeon and stuff. And then fighting the, the, the boss and all that stuff. All right. Please die. I don't, I don't want to have to go into creative, man. Ha. Ha. Okay. Okay. We might have to go into creative. Well, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, he, damn, he takes like... Ah, I forgot. I think he takes like 100 hits, actually. Alright, so that's enough of that. Let's go into game mode 1. Boom. Alright, so if we kill him... Let's go ahead and just knock him to death. Actually, let's do this. Slash, kill. Alright, so now that he's dead, as you guys can see, because I killed him with all my might of this one axe that I had, it'll open up the door to his room. Now, the this is basically the exit for... For, for everybody that did the dungeon together overall and this will open up here and then everybody can kind of come in here and just one person has to click this button you basically only can only click it once it won't do it twice because once you click it it'll start teleporting you and giving you all your stuff so basically you press this and it gives you all your stuff and it even announces to you something it tells you thank you for uh, if, you, if you look right here it tells you thank you for defeating the mind king but this mind is cursed and he will be back yay so that means you can go back and do it again whatever uh, so anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then you get your crate key, you get rewarded $10,000 or for, uh, what is it, forty five or 20000 and then you get your 10 diamonds. And that's pretty much it. And then it says, uh, I, Samic Fly, have defeated the Mind King. Basically, it says have because a lot of this is going to take more than one person, at least in the beginning. So, you know, it'll say Samic Fly and Megaton and Hugzilla or whoever has defeated, have defeated the Mind King together. So, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, so basically you guys then after that you end up right here back at the at, at the at the cathedral at this this church thing I don't know, but anyways you end up here and you can basically go and uh, Redeem your crate your crate key. So if you want to know where uh, where to redeem this you actually have to take it to the um, The castle the castle basically has all the uh, um, Oh crap all the crate keys. So yeah, you go up there take your stupid key you put it in your chest and it'll give you something. Now there's a bit of a delay on it. I tried to fix it, the delay, but every time I tried, it would basically crash the 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 plugin, and it, they just wouldn't work. So I decided, you know what? Let's keep the delay. It's like a like a five second delay, I think, something like that. Uh, but anyways, right here you can see the different crates we have. We have com uh, we have a common, uncommon, rare, ultra rare, legendary. Then there's the more extreme ones, the epic and the OP. So yeah, there it's not very it's not very easy. There's a lot of different dungeons. There's basically seven dungeons. That means I have to make seven dungeons, so that kind of sucks. But you'll get really cool rewards from and stuff. And I think in the beginning ones, you get rewarded with um, with a common crate. Your whole team gets common crates. But the harder ones, like the ultra rare and the legendary and the OP and all that crap, you're going to start getting only one person will get a legendary key. And then everybody else will get a common key and an uncommon key. So it'll give you more than one type of key. So you basically you'll be getting like two crate keys that are uncommon, maybe one uncommon, then a rare, and then the legendary for only one person though. And then the rest will get like the lower level keys or whatever. But basically I wanted to do that because I think it would be cool for everybody to do the dungeons more than once. And obviously you have to. So uh, yeah. Okay, so let's let's press our little key. We got a common crate key right here. Let's go ahead and uh, actually if you punch this, it'll tell you all the stuff you can get out of it. So as you can see. Uh, you get 5% emeralds and you'll get 8 ores. You can get 5% on diamond ore. You can get uh, gold ore, iron ore, coal ore, and redstone ore all for 20%. Or no, is it? Oh, wait, okay, iron ore has a 30% chance. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so everything has a percentage chance of being gotten. So, you know, if you want to get something specifically, you got to do it more than once. Anyways, let's go ahead and right-click it and see what we get. If we can get the emeralds on this first try, that would be amazing. Okay, so you press it. And there's that delay I was talking about. So you have to wait for your for your stuff, and it'll then drop it into your inventory. Boom. So what I got was iron ore, you guys. Then that was the 30% drop rate. And uh, yeah, that's basically what happened. And if you want to open these, you gotta go and open them in your plot or in your house or wherever you're at in the world. You can't open it in here because there's a like a fortress that or, or protection thing 
that won't let you put them down or whatever. Uh, but anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. It's just me basically showing you off the server and stuff. But as far as it goes, I think it's pretty cool. Like, there's a few little things that need to be fixed. Like, the dungeon needs decorating, that kind of deal. But everything else seems intact. Everything pretty much worked perfectly. Oh, and if you go to slash money, it'll show you how much money you have. So I got $25,000 exactly. That's how much the dungeon gives. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Like and subscribe if you want to see some more. And if you have anything else you want me to add to this, uh, to this server before I open it up, let me know. And as far as server dates go, you guys, I don't have a date yet, but I do have um, an idea. I want to make this server available to YouTubers, those that would be recording on it, as an early access beta kind of deal, where people can come and play it and then ch uh, test out everything. Because obviously, other people will find glitches that I don't, you know, so I would want people to come in here and test out the money system, test out the loot crate system, the dungeons, that kind of deal, and then try it out and see what works and what doesn't, and then... You know, give me like a uh, like a feedback on it, I guess. And uh, yeah, after the feedback, you know, we could kind of fix things that are broken, that kind of deal. And um, yeah, I, I don't know. Then I could probably reward you with something. And uh, thank you for trying it out and all that junk. I don't know. Anyways, hope you enjoyed and we'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye. Oh, maybe one of these would be cool. Panoramic view.